Hey guys, welcome to my first YouTube video. So first I'm going to take the MAC Painterly Paint Pot and apply that with a Sigma P82 brush and then blend it out with my finger. So then I'm going to take Peach Smoothie by Makeup Geek on a Sigma E40 brush and put that in my crease. As you can see, this color is pretty similar to the color of my skin, so it's just kind of going to act as a base color to set the Painterly Paint Pot and make the other shadows blend easier on top of it and that'll help create the gradient and smoky effect that we want. I'm taking Make a Peak Chickadee on the same brush that I just used and I'm basically putting it in the same exact place as I did the other color and I'm doing this just to warm up the look even more. Now I'm going to take Makeup Geek Frappe and Creme Brulee on a Sigma H25 brush and put this in my crease. I'm going to cover a smaller surface area than I did with the previous shadow to create a gradient. Now with Makeup Geek Cocoa Bear on a MAC 217 brush, I'm going to start by placing this on the outer third of my eye with a very light hand and then kind of use a heavier hand as I go on. I'm just going to build up the color and keep like dipping into that eyeshadow and I'm also going to bring this color into my crease but generally make sure to keep this color on like the outer half of your eye. And then I'm going to take the Sigma E40 and blend out that very apparent harsh line for a more seamless look. Make sure to do this in between every step. On that same MAC 217 brush, I'm going to buff Frappe and Creme Brulee on the outer half of my lower lash line. I'm going to make sure to connect it to my outer corner there, kind of to create like a V or a C. And I'm kind of going to flip the eyeshadow to the end of my eyebrow to create a more elongated effect. Then with my finger, I'm going to take the Maybelline color tattoo in the shade Bad to the Bronze and put that on the first half of my eyelid. My favorite way to apply pigments is to first um, wet my brush, this is the MAC 242, with some Fix Plus, and then I'm going to take the Makeup Geek pigment in Nightlife and kind of tap a little bit into the cap and then squish my brush into the cap to get the product on the brush. As far as placement, I'm basically going to put it in the same place that I did the Maybelline color tattoo. And you may think that the color tattoo is kind of redundant, but it really will help the pigment stick better and putting the pigment on top of the color tattoo just gave me the desired color that I wanted. And this kind of silicone shadow shield that I was using is from e.l.f. and I got it from Target and it really helped catch a lot of the pigment that would have otherwise fell on my face. And then on a MAC 217 I'm going to blend out the edges of that and you want to make sure that you don't swipe the brush on your lid where that pigment is otherwise all the shimmer is going to get in your crease and that's not what you want. Now I'm going to take Makeup Geek Mirage, which is a beautiful kind of satin finish, buttery yellow shade and put that on my inner corner and my brow bone to highlight my eyes. And then I'm going to curl my eyelashes with my eyelash curler and apply um, a few coats of the L'Oreal Miss Manga Mascara. This is literally the best mascara I've ever tried. It keeps my lashes perky all day and holds them up. And then I'm going to put the Rimmel Scandal Eyes Eyeliner in Nude on my waterline. So you can obviously stop here and not put on falsies, but I'm just going to show you what the look would look like at its full potential. Today I'm going to be using the Lena Lashes in the style Kendall. I love these lashes, they're so pretty. And first what I'm going to be doing is first placing the lashes kind of on the center of my eyelid and then securing the inner and outer corner of the lashes with my tweezers. What I recommend doing to make your eyelashes stay on longer is kind of taking tweezers and pressing on the upper part of your eyelash band, kind of like I just did there, and then also squeezing the eyelash band with your eyelid just to kind of help the lashes stay on longer. Another trick I like to do to hide the eyelashes is take eyeliner and kind of make an extension on my inner corner there of the lash band to kind of make the lash band look like eyeliner and make it look less noticeable. And if any of you want me to make a video showing all my tips and tricks for applying fake eyelashes, please leave it in the comments below.
I'm going to be lining my lips with the NYX Natural Lip Liner and then the lipstick I'm going to be using in the next clip is the Urban Decay Lipstick in the shade Naked 2. And that's a completed look. Thank you guys so much for watching and please comment down below if you have any other suggestions on what other looks I should do.